France's Future Combat Air System, often known as FCAS, was conceived as a cooperative effort to create a next-generation combat aircraft. Hello, and welcome back to our channel. The topic for today's video is France tested new surprising engine for 6th gen fighters. Watch this video till the end to know something extra about France. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Let's begin. A 6th generation fighter is a suggestion for a new class of jet fighter aircraft that is more advanced than the present 5th generation fighters in service and development. Japan, the US, Russia, the UK, Sweden, France, Italy, Germany, China, Spain, and India have all announced the creation of a 6th generation aircraft program. In the 2030s, the initial 6th generation fighters are projected to enter service. Several distinguishing plus points common to many 6th gen fighter topics have developed while still in the initial stages of development. Air-to-air -air capability, combat survivability in the predicted anti-access or area denial environment, and ground support or attack capabilities will all need to be polished and adapted to the threat atmosphere of the coming days. The early concentration on air dominance tasks has evolved to include ground support, cyber warfare, and even space warfare capacities, with beyond visual range or BVR air-to-air -air missile capability remaining crucial. The capacity to carry out manned and unmanned operations, as well as the ability to interact with larger fleets of ground sensors and satellite drones in a heavy traffic network atmosphere to provide full data-to-decision or D2D capabilities is also desired. Although it had stayed in the works for some time, it has now moved forward thanks to a reinvigorated effort and equal commitment from all parties involved. This new progress can be a massive step ahead in the development of France's FCAS. France has successfully tested a prototype engine for the NGF, which it is developing with Germany and Spain as part of the bigger future combat air system. The French Army Procurement Agency said in the second week of January that a Turenne prototype engine had passed a ground test utilizing a power plant learned from the Snecma M88, which is presently mounted on the Dassault Rafale combat aircraft. An important test for the development of the upcoming engine for the NGF combat aircraft of the FCAS was completed by the DGA, Directorate General of Armaments, at the end of 2021. A prototype understood from the Rafale fighter jets engine was tried on the test bench as part of the Turenne Military Technology Project under DGA, the Directorate General of Armaments said. The new engine was constructed for having higher thrust than the Eurofighter Typhoons and Rafales, letting the latest plane to replace both fighters in the long run effectively. The temperature goes up with increased thrust. Last year, the French Ministry of the Armed Forces unveiled the Adamant Research Project, which stands for Acceleration of the Development of Alloys and Multilayer Systems for Application to New Turbines. As previously reported by Aerotime Hub, it brings together the Ministry's Procurement and Innovation Agency, the French National Aeronautical Research Center, the ONERA, the DGA, and Safran, a French engine manufacturer. Following that, Safran Aircraft Engines of France, MTU Germany Aero Engines, and Spain's ITP Aero came to an agreement on the development, manufacturing, and support of a combined engine for the Next Generation Fighter, or NGF, which will power the FCAS program. What makes this engine unique? Thermocolor is a heat-sensitive paint that is put to the blades of the engine's high-pressure turbine senses and blades the temperature through a color shift, the DGA spoke. It took five years to set the conditions for this experiment, according to reports. Following the research of the initial experiment results, the assignment will go forward to a test of durability, which must need several months. According to the French Ministry of Armed Forces, the new generation fighter, a sixth generation fighter jet manufactured by France, Spain, and Germany, as a section of the FCAS, will need more strong engines as compared to its predecessors. The temperature must be higher than the thrust. Temperatures at the turbine inlet could surpass 2100 Kelvin. The French Ministry had previously claimed at the commencement of the engine program that such situations are beyond the capability of present materials. According to previously received information, Safran and MTU Aero engines will concentrate on their respective areas of expertise when we talk about engine development. The former will be in charge of overseeing the progress and integration of the engine's hot components. Cold components will be managed by the latter, which will also offer MRO services that are maintenance, repair, and overhaul. Furthermore, Stéphane Couillet, the director of Safran's Research, Technology, and Innovation, had previously highlighted the advancements required to build a better engine for the FCAS fighter. This new-gen fighter jet should be capable of both creating powerful supersonic thrust and cruise at low speed for long periods of time, he said in a Safran press release. As a result, its engine should be adaptable. 
It will also be more compact and lighter, and its thrust, which will be far more than that of the Rafale, will allow the FCAS to hold more weapons. The M88 engine, which currently powers the French Rafale 4.5 generation fighter aircraft, has adopted the power plant that allegedly drives the NGF engine. As a result, because the new engine appears to have a higher push, it is likely to outperform existing French fighters which have witnessed a recent boom in popularity and export. The engine would therefore be completely aligned with the requirements of an NGF, possibly a stealth aircraft that is predicted to outperform all previous fighter jets created by Europe. While the majority of the facts regarding the test and the characteristics of this engine prototype are undisclosed, it is expected to have a significant impact on the FCAS program. The Future Combat Air System Program FCAS, or SCAF, is a sixth-generation stealth fighter aircraft that debuted three years ago at the Paris Air Show. The Dassault Rafale and Eurofighter Typhoon aircrafts would be replaced. As per Airbus, it is a network-enabled technology of systems that incorporates a latest-generation fighter plane, a mail drone that is medium-altitude, long-endurance drone, drone swarms, cruise missiles, and other aircraft. The Next Generation Weapon System, or NGWS, will be the cornerstone of the future combat air system and will incorporate the NGF, the Air Combat Cloud, and remote carriers. In 2019, Spain was known to be the first country for signing up for the Future Combat Air System, or Système de Combat Aérien Futur. Margarita Robles, Spain's defense minister, signed the deal with Ursula von der Leyen and Florence Parley, her French and German counterparts in Brussels. In September 2021, the member states stated that they will invest Phase 1B, which runs from 2021 to 2024, with 3.6 billion euro or 1.2 billion euro each, and that they will not stop collaborating till the prototype of the latest European 6th Gen fighter is ready to fly. The FCAS program's development process is expected to be of 32 to 40 months. The FCAS initiative is critical to the integrated military policy of the three European countries. Its advancement has a similar influence on maintaining sovereignty and technological parity with major international powers, even outperforming the world's most powerful fighter jets. Even though it is still in the early stages, engine testing is a step in the right direction. Other contributions made by France in the realm of engines include to design efficient and clean engine combustion systems for cars, advanced development technologies such as computational fluid dynamics or CFD are required. However, the assumption of CFD, and hence its effectiveness, is contingent on a thorough learning of the in-person events that happen in combustion chambers. Advanced optical diagnostics can usually provide this information since they can give in situ measurements of physical parameters throughout the combustion process. The complexity of the processes that occur in a combustion chamber, on the other hand, necessitates a level of effort that is beyond the scope of individual endeavor. As a result, the ECN, or Engine Combustion Network, a consortium of international laboratories, has chosen to join the effort in a collaborative and voluntary undertaking to establish an international database that will provide the essential details for a detailed engine CFD model validation. One of the most important aspects of the project is that all of the partners have used the new measurement methods on the same configuration, which provides a unique perspective when we talk about extra knowledge between techniques. All partners faced a problem in adapting these approaches to the harsh temperature and pressure conditions of Spray A, the initial ECN goal condition. Thank you for staying throughout. Let us know your response in the comments below. For more such videos, hit the bell icon, do like and share this video, and until next time, goodbye.